A vicious assault caught on camera and tonight. Police are on the hunt for the man who beat a woman in a Chula Vista motel parking lot. New at seven o'clock. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton looked into why the person who saw it did nothing. Riel. Kim, we talked to one expert who tried to explain why that is. We know that there were people watching. People who saw that woman kicked to the ground in the middle of this hotel parking lot also watching the surveillance cameras outside of this motel. The video from which you are about to see is very graphic. A rare and jaw-dropping look at what police say is domestic violence caught on camera. Saturday night in this motel parking lot, a man rushes from his driver's side to deliver a body-dropping high kick to the woman he's with. She collapses and it doesn't end there. That's a traumatic brain injury, knocked unconscious by a blow to the head. Former San Diego City Attorney Casey Gwynn says what we are seeing is what is happening in homes across the country. A man filled with rage hitting a woman who doesn't, can't hit back. Battered women suffer more brain damage than NFL football players from blows to the head. The victim on the video limp on the asphalt as her abuser picks her unconscious body up and stuffs her back into the car. As this is happening, at the bottom of the surveillance, a door opens. What looks like someone peeking out who never intervenes. Police say other guests at the motel also called 911, but no one tried to stop it. Now you're talking about somebody who's right on the edge of lethal violence. This is a very scary, dangerous situation and not a safe situation to engage a man who has just committed a felony assault. Police now searching for this man, identified by investigators as 42-year-old Dorian Chavez Anguiano, the man they say savagely beat a woman in public. Now, police tell us the victim is okay. She was treated uh, for injuries, though. The motel, meantime, says they are also desperate to catch the man who did this in their parking lot. They say this is a safe place to stay, and nothing like this has ever happened at their business before. We're live in Chula Vista tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.